Sorry about that. I had to make room, more room on my camera because it stopped on me. So I'm just continuing to put the last feather on. And like I said, you don't have to worry about the glue seeing the glue because it will dry clear. Okay. So I have a few little spots here that are kind of poking up. I'm going to kind of clean my brush off here a little bit. All right. So that'll probably take a little while to dry so we'll move on to the next step here I'm going to be using um, another product that we have in the boutique it's uh, the art basic modeling paste it's op opaque white open this up it's um really creamy I love this stuff too so what I'm going to do with this is um, here are the micro beads in Oops, in black. Hopefully you can see that. This is in black, and then I also have the micro beads in silver. And these are really tiny, tiny beads. Great for your multimedia projects. Um, I've seen other artists put these on their scrapbooking layouts, and these things will go all over. So I don't know if you want to kind of give them a little tap before you open. My vacuum cleaner will love all of these. All right. There's static in the bottles. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this paste and I'm putting it on my directly onto my paintbrush. I'm sticking the paintbrush right into that jar and it just kind of grabs me grabs some of these it looks like caviar if you've ever had caviar that's what it looks like so I'm just gonna randomly kind of drag these again I'm not oh you can't even see that again I'm not ooh, my candle here. I'm not looking for perfection see if I can zoom in might help, huh? Okay, so they're right there. And I will take snapshots of this project so you can see all the details. Yeah, you might want to wipe your brush off before you stick it back into the stuff. So that's about how much I got on there. Again, I'm going to dip it into the black beads and just randomly patting them down on different areas and wiping it off before I stick it back in there okay so I'm just gonna randomly I'm gonna put you on fast forward and I'm just gonna go ahead and randomly do the same thing just kind of random areas on the project um, I'll be putting more of the black and then I'll go back over and put the silver. It, it might look messy to some people, but I think it's kind of cool. A mixed media project that I've learned, you just go with it. Some people may look at it and go, oh my gosh, what did you do? And some, another person might look at it and think it's the most beautiful thing they've ever seen, <laughs> which I'm hoping you will think that. All right, now I need something right here to kind of make you think it's more of a Valentine's type page. I'm trying to think of what I got that's Valentine. I think I have a stamp. Let me look. I do. 
I have this stamp here that we've gotten from a past design team project. And let's see if you can see this. This is what it looks like. It's, you can't see it. This is, it says with love on it. And sorry about the glare. There we go. With love. It's got flowers, hearts, yada, yada, yada on it. Now I'm going to ah, throw it on the floor. Let's see if it'll fit about right there. It will. It'll be kind of off the page, so hopefully. I'm thinking probably black ink again for this. And again, I don't have a stamp block that will fit this. So maybe I need to invest in some bigger ones. I'm just going to go ahead and ink this stamp up. Really good. This would be a good stamp to go on cards, layouts. And I can't remember who makes this stamp. All right, now that I've inked it up, I'm going to kind of huff on a little bit. And I think, make sure I'm going to be, yes. I'm going to put it right here. And I am Mark. So, I am going to, how am I going to fix that? I can still see where it says with love and some of the flowers and stuff on it are not quite showing up. So, hmm, I know what I'm going to use. These are called, um, this is this, the Stamper's Big Brush Pen Set. Uh, it's by Fiber, ugh, Fiber Castell. I like them because it's, Pretty much the whole rainbow. It looks pretty. And I am going to, uh, let's go with the black. And I'm also going to pull out the red for the hearts. And there's some, looks like there's some leaves in there. So I'm going to pull out. This darker, darker green color. Let's get you kind of focused here, maybe. The darker green. So, I'm just going to take these pins. Sorry if my head gets in the way. Now i got to try to do this without getting my hand in. Just kind of, I know you probably can't see it but there's kind of a faint line in here. My drawing techniques are not that good. So it's going to kind of be wobbly. All right, where's the stamp here so I can kind of look at it? Kind of goes like that. And the T. Kind of goes off the page a little bit because of that seam. Now, a little cursive action here. And I don't know about you, but they stopped teaching the kids here in Iowa cursive. 
and that's after you learn how to actually write you have to learn how to write in cursive too and it's it's sad that some of that stuff that the older generation used to do that they don't even do in schools anymore we don't even have textbooks anymore they, everything is done on computer. They have each kid is provided with a computer, a little laptop in the beginning of the year, and they use that for the remainder of the year. They s give it back, and then they use it again the following year. So, doesn't that kind of take away? Why do we have libraries in the school? You can look it up on the internet. <laughs> Okay, I used the red one and I filled in a couple of the hearts that were in there. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I missed a heart. Right there. Now it's kind of a wonky heart, but that will work. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now in this stamp they have some greenery leaves. Um, let's see if I can, there's one here, so I'll kind of trace that in, little wispies, and it looks like it kind of has one there, <clears throat> kind of comes up and wisps over to the T. And yes, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Don't we all? When <laughs> we're doing YouTube. It looks like it kind of does a little wispy here and then off into that area, which won't come up because of the black heart. Um, what else do we need here? There's flowers in there. So I'm going to use I kind of like this purple. I wonder if this purple color will show up. Let's try yellow. I'll use the darker yellow that's in here. Um, yep, this is the yellow color of the brush. Alright, well, so it looks like there is a flower up here. It kind of picks up the black. Shoot. Oh, wow. It's going to be a messy flower. Um, where else? There's a flower here. And then there's a flower down here. All right. I think that does it. So, there you be. There is my multi, how do you call it? Yeah, multi-medium layout for the Valentine's Block Hop here on YouTube. Again, it's sponsored by Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. If you like what I did here, be sure to leave me a comment. Maybe you have some other suggestions that I didn't do here that maybe I could have added. I love suggestions. Maybe another technique that I could have done. Um, but I think it turned out really nice. I'm just going to set it here and let it dry. It might take a little while. But all the information to enter into the Valentine's gift basket is all down below this video. Make sure you follow the, oops, follow the instructions there and come back on February 8th and see if you won. And you never know, there might be some other little prizes along the way. So, thank you for taking the time and watching my video and I will have some still photos for you to look at. Have a wonderful day. Bye.